Welcome back to another video, I'm Tom Ensco and today we're going to dive into a comprehensive tutorial on how to make a screen recording tutorial. We'll be using QuickTime Player for this tutorial and I'll also provide some additional tips on refining your screen recordings using free editing software like DaVinci Resolve, as well as some extra tricks using videos. First off, let's talk about QuickTime Player. It's a free, versatile tool that allows you to easily record your screen. Whether you're creating a tutorial, a demo, or a presentation, QuickTime Player has got you covered. Once you've opened QuickTime Player, you can navigate up to the file menu and select New Screen Recording. A recording window will appear, and you can choose to record the entire screen, a particular window, or just a portion of your screen. There's also some additional options to configure which microphone you'd like to use for your audio, as well as a countdown timer until your recording starts. Once you're all ready, just hit the record button, you can now start your tutorial or presentation for as long as you need until you're ready to stop. Once you are ready to stop recording, you'll see a small stop button at the top here in which you can click and QuickTime will automatically save your screen recording along with any recorded audio to your desktop. Now, we could stop there and call it a day as we've technically got our recording done, but I want to share with you some additional tips to make your own screen recordings a little bit more sexier. First of all, we'll want to jump into our preferred video editor. I personally use DaVinci Resolve as it's very intuitive, available for Mac, Windows and Linux, and you can get it for absolutely free. You can download DaVinci Resolve yourself just by following the link in the description box below. Once we're in our video editor, I'm going to create a new project and import my new screen recording footage into it. From here, we can select the edit page and drag our footage into a fresh timeline where we can cut out any mistakes we made, as well as reposition, rescale, or crop our screen recording using the inspector tools at the top here. Now I've got my screen recording just how I want it from using the inspector tools, I'm actually going to fill in the black space with a nice branded animated background. Now you may be thinking, but I can't create snazzy animated backgrounds for my video, I just don't have the expertise. Not to worry, as I'm actually going to be using the videos animation engine to easily create my background within minutes. Within videos, I'm just going to select one of our background templates, I'll customise the colours so that it fits my brand, and I'll just render it out. Easy as that. Now I have a fully animated background that I can import into my project and simply insert it into the track below my screen recording to add that extra bit of flow to my content. If our background animation doesn't run for quite long enough, we can just make as many copies as we need so that the background runs for the full duration of our screen recording. If we want to take things a step further, then we can also customise some lower third templates available within videos. Again, just select a template, adjust the text to our key points, customise the colours to match up with our brand, add a snazzy sound effect and render them out. Once we have our point animations rendered out from videos, we can then simply overlay these into our main edit to hone in on key points on our tutorial. These are just a handful of extra things we can do within videos, so if you are interested in trying this software out for yourself, you can do so for free just by following the link in the description box below. Once we've spiced things up using videos, all we have left to do is export our project, in which we can do so by using the quick export button here within DaVinci Resolve to render our tutorial out, ready for it to be posted out to the world. And that's just about it. With QuickTime Player, DaVinci Resolve and a little extra magic for videos, you can create professional looking screen recording tutorials with ease. Remember, you can use each of these products for free just by following the links provided in the description box below. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, happy creating.